Hey dads, how can any of us win with our health and fitness if we don't know this? Hey, Dom McStraw here. I am a founder and the conditioning coach at what we call the McStraw Method. We specialize in a three-step program for busy dads, dads like you, dads like me, where you want to lose the weight. It might be five, it might be 10, it might be 20 kilos. God, it might even be more than that, but it doesn't make a difference because that weight, that's the weight that's been bringing you down. So if you're watching this video, then you've already jumped through a few hoops. You've obviously seen the advert. You've come to that first page, what we call the landing page. We talk a little bit about it. We've offered the opportunity to you to find out, share some details, and then get to then page two. And page two, the thank you page, says a little bit more about the steps, and then from there, you've clearly booked your call. Now, it's only a booking. It's not necessarily a confirmation. The confirmation is gonna be whenever you can prove to us that you've actually sat and watched through this video. And yep, it's a little bit longer, but that's all about qualifying. It's all about you qualifying me. Is this guy genuine? Does this guy know his shit? And also for me to understand, are you genuinely serious? So if you're a serious, then that's cool. But just a reminder, we are not here for any quick fixes. I don't do hacks. I don't do some insta-fit wannabe new bowl 20-something walk around without your t-shirt on BS hack, blah, blah, blah. Don't do none of that. No pills, no potions, no BS magic lotions. I simply want to talk about the fundamentals and that's what drives the success of our program and therefore the success of our clients. Three steps, there's actually three sets of three, so let's just talk about them. The first one is understanding our facts, understanding what's possible for us, and then finding ourselves the right path for us to follow. When we're on that path, we'll talk about three other things. The mental component, because at the end of the day, for us to change, we're gonna change up here. We'll understand the metabolic component, or what we call metabolize. Food is fuel, period, end of story. We'll talk about how we can keep it so damn simple and how it works. And if there is a reason that we need it to be different for you, we'll go down that path. And the final one is what we call the mobilized. Yep, moving, lifting heavy shit, body weight drills, conditioning drills, stuff that's probably gonna wanna make you vomit the first time you do it. But outside of that, that program that mobilize, that goes through three phases how we onboard you, how we get you into the program so we don't just kill you right from the start, we build up to that. How our transformation phase takes you from once to twice to three to four to five. And then our performance phase, which is the final one, which is every damn day. You see, we keep it to the basics, but that ensures that we don't fall for any of the marketing trickery. And was one of the other videos I talked about, one of the food codes at the moment saying it's now intermittent eating because intermittent fasting doesn't sound great, but it's BS, it's the same thing. So here's what I mean. Other than that, here's a few more of this, what I'm gonna call trickery. It's like, you wanna move the spare tire? Do a hundred crunches a day. Everyone knows. All it's gonna do is it's gonna end up giving you a freaking sore back. But if we learn how to do the right abdominal exercises correctly, at the right tempo, we'll build a strong core. Having a six pack doesn't mean you've got a strong, I know guys who have got six packs, 20 years younger than me, and they can't freaking hold a plank for 60 seconds. Or when they come into the ring, and because I've had a fight experience, one punch in the gut, they're folded over, doubled over, they got nothing. But when you've got a strong core, you end up getting a lot of other benefits. So your lifts, your deadlifts, your squat, your bench press, all that type of stuff, you become stronger. You become more powerful when you have a strong core. 
Things like if you're having lower back pain, like if you suffer from it now, when you build a strong core, you'll find that over time that it will go away unless there's something serious there we need to look at. And then things like just general mobility, bending over, tying your shoelaces. Can you sit into a deep squat properly? Fake one number two, um, losing weight. To lose weight, you've got to restrict your calories. You don't eat carbs after eight o'clock or at some other fat diet, skinny tea, well no. The thousand calorie a day stuff, now your body's smarter than that. It'll work out what you're doing and it will start to store what it needs. So why are these fitness professionals, the, the body sculptors getting on stages, why are them, and even the little tiny girls, why are they eating two and a half and three thousand calories a day? Because they need it. So. What we do is I want you to understand how to eat the right food. It may not be sexy, but it's the right food for you. We'll talk a little bit about macros, breaking them down, protein, fat, carbs, what's this, what's that, how does it get calculated? But more importantly, I want you to understand that things like you need to have carbs if you're gonna do some of our performance workouts because you're gonna to wanna to be able to sustain it. And overeating protein, when you overeat it, your body will expel it as waste. So why is training for aesthetics just the look, the sculpted biceps? Why that doesn't serve you well in the long run? Well, again, if you've, if you've got any friends who have been down this path, man, their attitudes change when they're going through that. I've got friends that have done it and they've actually said to their partners, if you ever do that again, we're over. So therefore we focus on performance, the ability to do something repeatedly Right, get up, we follow movement patterns, push, pull, bend, squat, twist, lunge, and the seventh one we call gait, which is the combination. So like climbing the stairs, it's a lunge, it's a twist, it's a combination, it's a gait movement. And all of our movements are designed around pushing you, not only mentally and physically, metabolically, your heart rate's gonna go up and down. I wear a heart rate monitor, we'll talk about that but also too, I'm gonna to get you to improve your mobility. Case in point, I've got dads that are in their 70s. So yeah, they're dads. They're still a dad. They're a dad until the day they die. And they're on the floor, on all floors, right? Doing bear crawls. So it's a bit like, I think I said it in the last video. Look like a Lamborghini, but drive like a beetle. Okay? All show, no go. So therefore, you don't need to spend hours in the gym. You don't need to spend an hour and a half to two hours, four to five days a week. Man, that's a day. That's eight hours. It's not necessary. Everything we do is around a 30 minute workout. But it's 30 minutes every damn day. Yeah, I know it's three and a half hours in a week. It's still less. But the workouts are designed to come in, get you started, move, get out, go. You're busy. Time for you to go spend time with the kids. Time for you to spend time with your partners. And for those who have to, time for you to spend time back at work. It's a daily thing, all right? And you know, workouts, there are gyms out there and you'll know who I mean. You don't need to have 27 stations, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off to have a good workout. I can give you a workout that's two exercises, two movements, what we call a couplet, maybe a triplet, three. But the right ones with the right combinations and the right movement patterns, and you'll come out, you won't be screwed, you won't hurt your back. You'll be working for it, and it'll be better for you holistically, physically, and mentally. So, three steps, let's cut to the chase. What are they, and why are they important? So step one, before you go and join any other gym, some too good to be true discounted trainer, 28 day for five days free, I want you to understand step one, and let's get clarity. Your facts, where are you today? What have you done? Why are you here? Why is today important? Why are you acting now? Why didn't you act two days ago, three days ago, last week? Those facts are important. Don't underestimate them. Until you can get clear on that, we can't start. Simple. Clarity gets you in the zone. Understand what is your number one problem. You might say, I want to lose weight. I want to lose 10 kilos. I can almost guarantee you that's not your problem. Your problem may be deeper than that. It might be that your wife won't look at you because you're packed it on. There's no intimacy. And I know, yes, I know it's a sex card, but that's your problem. 
The manifestation is the fact that you put on the weight, you're uncomfortable, and lo and behold, your libido's gone, blah, 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 blah. It might be that you know, you're struggling at work, you can't keep up, you're at the senior level, but you've been passed over because some young hotshots come through because they're burning the midnight hour. Hey, I get that. They're also not a dad, they're not a parent. Let's understand your facts. So when I started my journey, I was the same. I tried everything, tools, potions, magic, lotions. I looked around left, right, and center. And it wasn't until I had my little medical emergency that I actually started to understand the importance of my own facts. At one stage, I was 115 kilos. All right, my ideal weight for my height, if you believe BMI, I should be 84. So that's a whopping 30 plus kilos over where I should be. It didn't dawn on me because I was still lifting heavy stuff. But I needed to understand where it is. I then had the strokes. First one, I put it down to meh. Second one, get the shit out of me. I got clear. I got honest with myself and some people helped me along the way, which is why I no longer call myself a trainer. I call myself a coach because I've spent time with these people understanding that it's more than just, hey, jump through the hoop, dickhead. I found my method and I mastered it. I, in, I was a franchise trainer, as I say, in a big box gym, and I was the only one doing 30 minute sessions. And everyone's going like, what the hell is this guy doing? And why are his clients looking like that there? And why are his clients getting the results? But I've got a client who's here with me for an hour and has been for the last six months and they haven't changed shape. I'm not here to make friends, and that cuts a byproduct. I'm here to get a result. You're here to get a result. As long as we understand that, we're cool. I've used that method now for five years consistently since I've become a qualified fitness professional, as we call it. I've used it not only with myself, with my clients face to face, but I've also used it in programs in gyms. Throwing their program out completely, and suddenly people go, shit, I'm only getting a 30 minute workout, and this guy's killing me but they're coming back, they're seeing it, and they're seeing results. It's physical, it's also mental. Step two, goals, aspirations. What's your goal? Is it to lose 10 kilos, or is it, I wanna get back into my wedding suit, because my 10th, 15th, 20th, 30th year anniversary is coming up, and I wanna look freaking smoking hot the way I did, buff boss, owned that shit in the church, and my life and my wife, they look at me differently when I'm living like that. Nothing wrong with being that. We're all, we've all got insecurities, but we've all got things that we remember. That's a great goal to have. I want to move better. My kids are currently trashing me when I play, and my kids play basketball, but I can still keep up. You know, but there's a time when I couldn't, so I had to get back. So, what is my goal? What's the aspirations? How does it fit into me? And things like just being able to sit down and do your shoelaces, see your toes. For those of us that are much bigger than we should be, they are great goals. There's a whole lot of other shit in there, but it's a goal. Might be, I've got my dad, my dad's in his shit 70s now, and he has a sleep apnea. So what we call a CPAP or an APAP, an auto, positive air pressure device. You ever seen Darth Vader? I've, I've wore the Bane mask whenever I've done workouts to scare the crap out of people. But I want him off of that. That was gonna be me. And I worked damn hard not to be me. So sleep apnea, get off the machine. Cholesterol, bring your blood pressure down. Get off this. Uh, you've got one child and you wanna have a second and your sperm count's too low, man, you gotta lose some weight because all of this has an effect on stuff like that there. It's not stuff you're gonna hear, doesn't sound sexy. Who's gonna advertise this crap on Facebook? But it's real, and I know that's what affects people, that's what affects dads, it's what affects people who want to be dads. Doesn't make a difference, gay, straight, bi, trans, whatever. You're a dad, we all share a same common theme. So on that there, it's a path. Step three is our path. 
in our path, we support you. We provide you the systems, the framework, the fundamentals, we provide you the coaching, but the system is what you want. The system is there that gets you results. The system helps you maintain the results. Are you gonna go it alone? Go it alone. We'll be here, come back. Slowly but surely, we incrementally add in workouts, we control lifestyles, we put in challenges, all that to keep it fresh. How are you gonna stay on track? How do you hold yourself accountable when you miss a day? Hey, we don't do cheat meals. We don't do cheat days. That's a bullshit excuse that we just give ourselves. How to maintain it, how to monitor it, how to stay on track. The three steps are simple. The system needs support, it needs structure. We do that through Facebook. We have a group, other dads. It's at three M's. It's the mentalize, the mobilize, the metabolize, the stuff that we just talked about before. Mentalizing, we're all about rewiring the brain getting you back to where you need to be. Metabolize, we keep it simple, food goes in, it is fuel. More on that, deeper in the program. And mobilize, getting the work done, moving it, doing your shit as we might want to call it. That's what we are. So right now, as we said, it's not some, it's not a fancy thing. It's not a pill, potion, or magic lotion. There's none of that stuff. It's no self-proclaimed guru who's a 20-something who actually doesn't even know what it's like to be a dad. So how the hell is he going to train you? He's not had gravity hit him. He doesn't have a mortgage. He doesn't have kids. He doesn't have a spouse at home. He doesn't try to juggle all stuff. He's probably got some influencer, blah, 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 with his meals provided. It's skepticism. I understand it. It's rampant because I'm also very skeptic of the crap that I see. So the end result is this. Why me? Why not do an ebook? Why not do a downloadable PD, some app? See, all that stuff's too generic. They don't get to know you. What we do in our group is we get to know you. Where are you? What are you? What's your triggers? How can we help you? How can we support you? No ebooks, no nothing, no quick fixes. And the reality is, none of that stuff, you use it for a bit and let it go. And that's the reason why they do it, because they don't care. It's money, it's a quick fix, it's a quick buck. So again, Dom, how are you gonna help me? Well, it's a path less traveled, it's hard work. I was there and I ignored all my facts and I got myself straight and I'm here to share it with you. I'm not here to follow the pack, I told you that before. It's three steps, crazy it is, simple rocket science, no. 101. Been around forever. Yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, but master it. Sustain it. Invest in you. We're here. And if your time frame is three to six months, you're gonna have to work a bit harder. Accountability. Every day. Mindset. No bullshit excuses, no stories, as I say. If you go longer, six to twelve months, that's cool. Still as far as work, and it's gonna be more consistent because you're doing it over a longer window. So point A to B, it's like Google Maps. Put an A and B, it's never a straight line, it does this. Take out toll roads, take out highways, it does this, it's never a straight line. This is the way that you're gonna find your path forward. So on our call, we're gonna talk about the game plan. You've seen the blueprint pictures. I'm gonna talk about how we onboard you. I'm gonna talk about the things that we do. It's exactly the same system for everybody. We manipulate it, we change it, we adopt it for you. If you are a strength-based person, and we're gonna find that, then there'll be strength-based workouts primarily. But I'm gonna throw cardio in. I'm not a fuck cardio guy, I enjoy cardio. Because this ticker, to keep going, I need it to work, and I need to exercise it. It's a muscle, I need it, and therefore cardio is gonna come in handy. I don't wanna hit, I'm in my 50th year now, 51. I don't want to hit 52, 53 and finding out that I'm dying is a freaking heart attack. I want to exceed. My old man is in his 70s and he's still kicking. Yeah, he's got the mask, the Darth Vader, the sleep apnea. Other than that, the bugger is still going and I want to be like him and I actually want to outlast him. Great difference. Again, it's a system, not a solution. You're not buying my coaching. You're getting supported by the coaching. It's a framework, it's a system, it's got a path like-minded dads like you and me and everyone else in the group it works it moves us all forward but you need to do the work we've said this i can't stress it enough you've got to do the work to be clear we take the path we leverage everything 
something you do and you do and you do and that person does might be different than what I've done. So we will draw from our experiences, but you're all supported, underpinned by the coaching, the community and the culture that we have in a group. So from here, get prepared for your call. Be ready with your facts. Don't turn up to the call and don't tell me you haven't thought this shit through. That's it, we'll end the call. Get your facts. I'm gonna send you a link anyway for you to start thinking about it. Start setting your goals. I don't care how big and hairy, or as I say, big, hairy, audacious goals they are, set them. But I want you to be prepared for me to ask you, carte blanche, blunt in your face, that's not your goal. Your goal is not to lend two kilos. Tell me why you want to lend two kilos. We're gonna dig deeper. And we understand where it is. If you're vulnerable, that's cool. But I'll share with you my story. Right? My kids are now 13 and 17. One going to uni, one middle year of high school. And they're active. And I've had a marriage that's been in the toilet for a while. And it's a work in progress. And it will be a work in progress until the two of us finally get our shit together. But life goes on and I'm still a dad and that ain't gonna fucking change. So ask your questions, get your facts, get your shit together, call a spade a spade, that's the way that the call is going to run. That's it. So before we talked about red and blue pill, so go back and look at the matrix, search red and blue pill, you'll find out. Morpheus gave Neo a choice, a red pill and a blue pill. The blue pill, keep on believing whatever you want, Blah, 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 it's fictional, life is what it is, full of fakeness. Red pill, honest, straightforward, works hard. But that's where the possibilities are. That's where the success is. So, if you choose a red pill, I can help you. I can help you, you're gonna do the prep work, you're gonna get on the call, you're gonna make a decision on the call. If you're in, you're in, if you're not, you're not. That's it, there's no second chances. You can come back at a later date, I'm cool with that, but I'm not gonna waste your time and my time. I'm not here to dick around. I want people who are committed to making a change. But if you're a blue pill person, then I can't help you. So like Morpheus, I'm gonna wish you well, your story's gonna end. You can go on believing whatever you wanna believe, look around, keep finding a solution, and I wish you the best of luck. Genuinely, I wish you the best of luck. Find something that works for you. That's it. Red pill or blue pill? Red pill will turn up at this call. You answer my text, we do the work, we're sorted. Blue pill, it ends, good luck. I'm Don McStraw. This is the McStraw Method. We've got three steps. Let's make them your success.